Good morning, everyone. It's Chris. I really haven't been good at this morning vloggy thing, but like with Christmas and everything, it was very busy with the holidays and all that, and so now here I am. I hope you all had a good Yule and a good Christmas, and New Year's is around the corner. <coughs> like a hop, skip, and a jump. I am here in my fluffy bathrobe before I have to get ready for work and my coffee talking to you all. Today I want to talk about knowing your limitations and I want to talk about that not in the sense that I think we have limits so we won't accomplish things but limitations in the sense of being reasonably aware of how much you will and will not take on as one person, whether that is in a job, whether that is other people's drama, whether that is whatever the case may be. Being aware of how much you can handle. I think sometimes we get wrapped up in responsibilities and things we have to do that we don't and I think and I think some of that is self imposed too. Things we feel like we have to be responsible for, whether it's other people, further job responsibilities or what have you. Rather than, you know, making sure we take on what we can and then also have time to take care of ourselves. So, I really want to encourage you to get to know your limitations and be okay saying no. And let that no be a complete sentence without the need to make an excuse or apologize for it. I think it's weird how much responsibility for other people we always seem to take on. And it's not to say that, you know, we shouldn't help other people. It's not to say that we shouldn't be there for other people. It's not even, you know, to say any of that. I think we should, but we also should be aware that we don't have to solve the entire world's problems. That we don't have to pick up everybody from any situation and that we are not responsible for cleaning up after other people. We're not. <coughs> I mean, sure, it's fine to help and it's fine to do what you can, but ultimately, you're not responsible for somebody else's happiness. You're not responsible for cleaning up somebody else's problem. And you're not responsible for taking on responsibility that isn't yours to handle. So, today, I'd like you to think about that. And I'd like you to think about the core responsibilities of your life to yourself and the things that you have to do. And then I'd like you to make a list of all the things that you <coughs> make yourself responsible for, but actually aren't. And then I'd like you to think of better ways in which to take care of yourself. Um, so... <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm dying over here. Um, so that's what I'd like you to do today. And at the fun fact, at the end of this video, for the end of this video, my well, fun thing, not fun, I want to know what you guys are doing for maybe New Year's, and I want any new, good New Year's resolutions you have. And I will... And I will tell you mine. Um, we're actually going to a retirement party for New Year's, so I'm not entirely sure it'll be all that exciting. But, um, it'll be fine. Uh, and then for New Year's resolutions, 
I have a couple. Um, the first is to get better at celebrating different observances, like pagan observances, and um, to get in the habit of doing also some kind of daily ritual. But also, I, my third one is, I have the problem of whenever I'm sitting or something, I'm always doing something, I'm always like on the computer or reading or even when I'm just sitting quietly, I'm meditating or doing what have you. Um, I don't ever just sit and be still without doing something. So one of my New Year's resolutions is to find space in my day where I can just sit and not do anything and just see what happens. So I hope that you guys have a good Tuesday. I hope that you find your day fulfilling and I will talk to you later. Bye.